We're getting a lot of questions about slope. Do I need slope on my French drain? Well, I'm going to give you a, a simple visual so that everyone can understand. So this is going to represent a French drain. This wall is level. So we have a rain event. The French drain is level, no slope. But it goes to a pop-up. See what happens? The water runs to the pop-up. You're leaving water behind for tree roots. Tree roots love that. They're going to fill your trench. Your trench is always going to hold water. No slope with a pop-up. So what do we do? We would run this, and if we didn't have very much slope, we'd save it to the very end and use it so that we can empty out that portion of the French drain. I think this is going to be a good visual for everybody too right here. All right, so level. We're going level, but we're going to run it to a storm drain or a ditch. This wall is level. All right, guys, all the water runs out of it, and it's level. I don't know what to say. This is it, man. It's as simple as that. You could run a French drain level to a ditch, to a storm drain, if you don't have the fall. But you got to take it if you have it. Because in this imperfect world that we live in, none of us can get that bottom of that French drain perfect. That bottom of that French drain is going to have a little bit of up and down. You can get it close, but it's going to have some imperfections. So as soon as you put some slope on this, the water runs out of that up and down areas, and then the French drain will work with even a pop-up if you got slope so there you have it there's the 101 of slope guys if you like these demonstrations these educational videos that i'm putting together give us a thumbs up it supports the channel i'm your host robert sherwood and until that next video